What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Commander vs. Series Season 22, Episode 4. John Suarez, Stephen Green, Justin Parnell, and Jeremy Knoll. Live in the flesh. Well, not live. Oh, you're live? I mean, yeah, you're live for us. a ghost? You're alive. I, I am partly a ghost, yes, this week. But you are definitely alive for us. Oh, for you, yes. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not live in person. There's not like a live studio audience. Well, oh, there, there is. Count, there is. Count Leo. What, what, what everyone count. doesn't know is behind that door is Jeremy. That's his room <laughs> behind that door. Yeah. If you're wondering what you want to know what's behind the door, then Jeremy. Everybody wanted to know so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy panned behind Jeremy's door is John. We're all secretly roommates and we just... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to be in the same room together. No, yeah. this is our solution to the not being in the same studio. We're all just yeah. in the same house, different rooms. Yep. We yeah, we filmed we filmed the house for Johnny Appleseed Day like five years ago. Actually, we're we're also not in the house. If you see the movie Cube, we're in a cube, <laughs> and it's just our four rooms. That's what it is. Uh, oh, I had man. a joke, but I thought better of it. So yeah, I'm just going to continue good. on. Um, so we are back again uh, doing our second week of the Coliseum of Randomness. To remind everyone, we've taken all of the partners from Commander Legends and Commander 2015. I'm pretty sure I also forgot what it was last week. All the Legends with just partner. There's 55 of them. We tossed out Prismatic Piper, uh, and we are going to be spinning to see what random partners each person gets. Now... Right now, it's on the bottom of our screen, but presumably Kyle will take this away and post. But there's a chance he doesn't. <laughs> there's always that chance. It's on the top of my screen. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And it's definitely uh, not a question mark or anything. Also, I may have told you last week, uh, Kyle may have cut that out. I didn't watch the whole episode, so I have no idea. He, he, I, have, I, I believe that he cut it out. Either way, there's no reason for them to go back now because they're going to find out uh, pretty soon. Yes, uh, well, I mean, we, we can farm a view. Yeah, go go back. So, well, we already told them to binge. They should already be binging. In fact, yeah. I think uh, it's probably a good habit to get into to have... Uh, most people have two computer monitors now. You can have one up to have last week's episode and then have one up to have this week's episode so you can make sure. It's like the previously on, but you just watch the whole episode again. While watching this episode. Yes, while watching this episode. Yeah, so don't miss there's anything. no way you'll get confused. Can I get the spins on both you can get the staticky spins for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yo, whatever you got going. Oh, <laughs> guys. I'm back. Yeah. That's because I was on both monitors. So yeah, uh, yeah. this is a good time to go to that spin, spin though. Yeah. So, uh, this is <laughs> so what I was going to say is to recap slightly last week, just before we show the points, um, to make sure that everyone knows what happens, I got four points for winning. But I also lost a point because technically John died first. But I did kill him with commander damage, so then I got another point. But then I lost another point because I killed everyone in the same turn. So in case you're wondering how many points I got, it ultimately was three. Spoiler. You're supposed spoiler. to say spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler for the next, like, 20 seconds, but uh, spoiler nonetheless. So... Without further ado, first of all, here's the way. No, Kyle, this is mainly for you. Here's the way because I want to remind everyone a few every few weeks. Here's the way we can accrue points each week this season and every season and forever. And then here's where the points are standing for the season. So this is where everyone stands for the season. And now let's see what everyone spun to get their random commanders. All right, so we've eliminated eight, but that means that means we still have like. 47 left. 47 right, options right. left. It's a lot of options. So everyone's going to get two again. So we'll just go... We'll go in reverse order. So I'll go first, and then Steven, then Jeremy, then John. All right. Give me something good. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That's Kadama. a good one. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That was so good. Tree. All right rigged that's that's too good it is rigged i also rigged this one to get me to vesh zot oh god i was actually really close oh man oh my god <laughs> oh no oh. rocks and trees rocks and trees all day that is a good random combo that, that i definitely is... didn't rig all that right let's keep for last week yeah
is shy. Is your type dragon speak? It's green white. Is blue white. Blue white. Blue white. Blue white. Yeah, it's the blue white, blue white flyer that gets plus one plus one counters. Yeah. And Kaleth. Ah, uh, yes. You can now have your bird ride a horse. Excellent combination, Stephen. All right, so Jeremy. Dun, dun, dun. What do we got? Oh, please give him Ramirez. Ghost? Ghost of Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that card could do some nonsense, I believe. It could, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to try and tinker with it. Let's see what else I get, though. Numa? I like Numa. That's a good one. Numa likes to, to create and distribute uh, plus one plus one counters. Yeah, true. It's it's ghost, elves. ghost elves. All right, so this is John. Last two. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of splicing. Tech, yeah, that's the golem maker. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last one. Kiri. Okay. Okay, so yeah. more, art, more artifact action. John's all about yeah. some artifacts. I am. All right. The Randomonium actually gave me some synergistic commanders this week. I'm going to be playing a Kiri and Ictech. Uh, and we're going to be playing like a Naya Golem themed deck. We're going to have a bunch of ways to double our tokens so that we can flood the ground with golems, and a couple of different special ways to try and get through once we have a bunch of golems to kill everyone if we can. So the Commander Gods gifted me this week an incredible pairing of Kadamo of the East Tree and Togo Goblin Weaponsmith. I could not believe it, but I wanted to pump the brakes a little bit. So I'm actually playing a budget deck this week. So I asked my friend Barbarian Driddle on Twitter, and you can follow him at Barbarians R I D D one on Twitter, for his Kadama and Togo budget deck. You can play the entire deck for under 50 bucks. You can still put a ton of artifacts into play and kill people like that. You can put a bunch of equipment on a creature and punch people in the face until they're dead. Kadama and Togo are just so powerful, there's a million ways that you can end the game. I feel like ultimately, once some time has passed, this duo may be as iconic as incredibly iconic things like chocolate and peanut butter, or pineapple and pizza, or Steven and not reading the entire card, or John and making everyone miserable, or Jeremy and threat assessment. Ultimately, even with the budget, I feel like I want to come out on top. Well, today's deck tech, we're going to fly the friendly of shy skies. The whole deck is about flying. We're going to be cruising up in the clouds, and we're just flying around, you know, putting counters on stuff, scoping out the scene on the ground, probably not landing, probably just staying up there the whole time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just really burdening around, you know, amassing a large army of flying creatures and killing everybody with it. Maybe killing someone in one shot with a shot, because uh, it gets big fast. So... I'm gonna, I've got my fingers crossed, all of them. You can't, hold on. And my toes. This is how many crosses I, hold on. Oh, now we have everything crossed, you know, that we kill each and every one at the table with a giant shot. So this week I have Simic partners and one of them is Numa and cares about elves. So I've built an elf deck that has some cool Simic cards. Uh, it really cares about plus one, plus one counters has a bunch of the cards that are going to give my elves plus one, plus one, and plus one, plus one counters, and hopefully we can keep our creatures alive long enough to get one of those really big spells that gives all our creatures a bunch of power and toughness and trample and just swing on out. So we're punching tickets to the punch club this week, and hopefully we'll be able to take down with that. So because Justin treated me so poorly last week, I get to start off first, right? So poorly. Yep. Yeah. The worst. Worst yeah, on just, record. He yeah, punched you, you into getting to play first this week. Yeah. He did. I'm going to play a Branch Loft Pathway, and I'll pass. Yeah, you will. I will play an Irrigated Farmland Tapped. Hmm. 
And are you okay? I'll assume you're going to pass the turn. Yeah, I think he's done. I'll play a mountain and pass. No, hear me say irrigated farmland pass. No, I actually just heard you say irrigated farmland. Forest elvish mystic man pass. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Ah, go figure. Elves, elves, elves. All done. Yep. Okay, I'm going to play a spectacular seating. I'll be done. Is that spectator seating or is it spectacular? It's spectacular. I don't want any spectators here. We don't have a live audience. We already talked about it. <laughs> I'm going to play a Stormscape Familiar. I can't argue Ooh, with that. I like, like that, that one. one. And I'll be dead. Is it time shifted? Oh, gosh. That horrible thing. Well, mine's not. Mine's yeah, I know. Plane shift. Uh, I'm going to play a forest and pass the turn. It's exactly the same, Jones. It's not. It's not exactly the same. It's pretty much the same. John for one? No. Uh, you should attack don't, Steven. Don't, don't attack me for one. Steven uh, will have to shame take it because he will not block. Your creature is more valuable than his. Or, or his creature is more valuable than yours. Uh, swing at Justin for one. Yep, I'll take one. Okay. I will then play... You almost talked him into losing his L. <laughs> Draga Tree Speaker. Oh, Same I was here. not. I was not going to swing at you, Stephen. <laughs> I was just letting him talk to talk. I got another card that does like almost the same thing to cast next turn. I want to snap it off. All done over there. Oh yeah, I was done. I said. All right. I'm going to play a planes and I'm going to channel my inner Jeremy and cast Cold Fate. Yes. I'm going to get a mountain and a forest, and I'll be done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, basic land cycle treacherous terrain. I'm going to take two, and I'm going to cast a shine. I do like a shy. Yeah, that's going to get big quick. Yeah. And... Um... I'm going to take Justin because he didn't, he wouldn't take my generous offer last week. I take him for one. Bringing in previous games, I see. Yeah, yep, uh, of course. I mean, I won a game, so I'm going to pay for it for the next three months, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> just the next three minutes. Don't worry about it. All right. I am going to play this forest that I got. And. Feel like I feel like I want to play Tago, but instead I like Tago. Instead of a rampant growth, Thomas Reach. Not really. I like that play. It's a good sure play. Everyone's Dude. aware that you uh, like Tago. Man, we Go Justin, ahead. you were at my apartment yesterday. We should have. I could have gave you these rocks. Yep. Could have gave you the rocks that you I know got. What? I'm. There's good. definitely no rocks outside anywhere. I'm yeah, good. but these rocks are already washed. I washed them mm. for him. <laughs> he washed these rocks. Do you think Tago washes his rocks? Come on now. He well, he does it. Grabs them off the ground. I never them, washed anything. He didn't know what I, that word means. I got them out of the road, so I had to wash them. It's just no telling. Um, let's see. I am going to... I'm going to uh, guess level up. I was thinking about leveling up here, yeah. That was my guess. I'm going to level this up. And then... I am going to... Just debating on which one of these things I want to play. Um, I will play this card. I am going to tap this. This. Play Elvish. Plan caller. Hmm. Elves I control get plus one plus one. Uh, come at Suarez this time for two. Okay. Pass the turn. And you could search for another Elvish call clan clan caller in your deck. Yeah, I put it on the battlefield. Sure, you've got yeah. another one. I know. You. Oh, you know it. There's that mountain I went and got. Uh, here is a mindstone. 
and a parallel lives. Ooh. All right, and I will be done. Well, I appreciate you guys helping a shot get so big. You're strong. welcome. I gave you two spells. You did so big and strong so quickly. Very big, very strong. Muscles of men, Stephen. Yep, exactly. It has the feathers. Strong, big strong birds. Shy is definitely a bird of war. I'm going to play a celestial colonnade. Um, and what do we want to do? What indeed? Just start off right. I'm going to attack Jeremy for five. Take five. And I wish that man came into play and tapped. Don't we all wish that if you just spent another three hundred dollars on it, it probably would have. Yeah, Stephen. Sounds like you don't want to win very much. Yeah, everybody knows you got to pay to win. Or if you had spent less money and had a basic land. That's true. I'm going to cast a Commander Sphere, and then I'm going to cast a Selfless. Okay. And I'll be done. Pretty good, I hear. Okay. Uh, I'll play Tago. Uh, go. I'll play a Mountain, and I'm going to get a Rock. Now, I'm sure they gave you a Rock token, right? Yeah, I got, I got one of these. There it is. Oh, yeah, rocks. Rocks on rocks on rocks. And uh, I'm going to equip this rock to Tago. And I'm done after that. I need to do something. You guys are getting yeah. We're Stuff's all good. I don't like it. Getting real frisky. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I'm going to play Hadana's Climb. Okay. That's a good one. That's a lot of counters. Mm-hmm. A lot of counters coming. The idea. And the hope. Uh, I will move to combat. Who's getting it? I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on this Elvish Clan caller. This is going to be a level counter instead. Just in case. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is going to get plus one plus one counter. Okay. I will. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will attack uh, Steven, how big is Selfless Spirit? It's a 2-1? Two 2-1, one. Two one. One. yeah. Alright, I'll attack Sean for 4. Alright. And then I will pass the turn. John, we know you're getting frisky over there with your parallel lives. Don't I you? do have a pair. Of, I have a parallel lives. I'm not upset. Yeah. You yeah. do seem like you're getting frisky. That is true. There's I thought frisk. about taking it away from you, but then I felt bad, you know, because you didn't did anything. So I just, you know, you have it for a turn, maybe two turns. Thank you, Stephen. That's very nice of you. A turn or two, just to see, just to see what just you're to see do. if you can do. Yeah, just to see if you can do something. I got you. So he's going to let you have it, and mm-hmm. then. After you do something, he's going to be like, "You shouldn't have done that," and then he's going to try to he's, he's going to kill That's it exactly. Everything he's going to kill everything. Everything you said could be true. Yeah, I was going to let you have it, but if as soon as you did anything with it, as soon as you do something, much, that's that's going to be yeah. it. Gonna, you gonna, gonna, can't, can't have that. You. You play. Mm-hmm. Just wag that finger at you. I've seen this? I've seen this show play out before. Yeah, same. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I guess I need to get some sort of defense going before Jeremy just kills me. Uh, I will play Ictek. 
Oh man, you get two golems. Whoa, shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Golem boys. All right, that will be it for me. Yeah, I don't know what you were thinking over there. I don't know. Foolish. Mm-hmm. Foolish. How dare you? Very foolish. Very foolhardy. That's for sure. I will cast. Wait, I missed the counter here because you cast your general. I'll cast Kellis. Kellis. Yep. Uh, and then I will Kellis attack yeah. Justin for eight. Gets a counter when it attacks. Oh, 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 like it's for nine. Nine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for nine. Oh, I did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hard he hit you. You sent me the Shadow Realm, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just got annihilated. Look at that. Look at that. You knocked him so Ooh. hard. You oh, my God. I'm, I'm negative. And I'm going You're to negative. cast uh, Battle Screech. Come on. Nice. Come on. Okay. Well, I don't know what I did. Battle Screech? That's yeah. not the Battle Screech I know. I don't know what I did with the tokens. That's not good. Mm. Aha, I've located them. Well, we are not prepared, clearly. Well, why would you have three? <laughs> four of them? Uh, uh, well, okay. So you have you have tokens, Stephen. You can just draw them. Yeah. And it gives you it gives you two, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make them all though. I'm gonna flash this with these two. Okay, so you tap that, so you have four total now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess one of the one of these is untapped, but whatever. We'll just say they're all tapped. I don't think two, it's... two are untapped, but you know, who are we talking? Yeah, uh, the two you made. I, I think I do have another one then, actually. Yeah. You only need two, according to Kyle sure. West. Two and two. There you go. We have the technology. We did it. We got there. Figured it out. And I'm done. A lot of commander damage. Yeah, that was a lot of commander damage. Mm -hmm. um, Big commander damage. I can say for sure I did not like it. I'm gonna get a rock. <laughs> There's one unequipped rock. Um, but but what then, are you gonna do about it? You didn't like it. What am I gonna do about it? Probably like nothing. Uh, and then I'm gonna play <laughs> Gear Per Ori. <laughs> Each player can play an additional land, and then at the beginning of each player's upkeep, if they have no cards in their hand, they draw three cards. Play an additional uh, would you like to play an additional land? I am going to play an additional land. I'm going to get an additional rock, and then I'm going to play an additional uh, Quicksmith Genius. Ooh. I don't like that. Uh, it's pretty, pretty slick with all Togo here. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, and it's uh, I have four cards in my hand, and I'm done. Seems good. All right. Uh, I could play an additional land, but uh, I'm just I'm just going to choose not to play a land. Yeah, you, just, you just don't want to play one at all? No, I'm just not going to play one. It's kind of where I was last turn. I am going to play Numa. That's a good one. Uh, and it says at the beginning of your up combat on your turn, you may pay X, X. If you do distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of target elves. Uh, so I will move to combat. Uh, stack it so that this goes on the stack. Then this I will pay two to put one here and then put the third here so that this flips. Hey, -o. OK. OK, I see you. What did uh, it flip to, Jeremy? It flips to Winged Temple of Orozca. Tap, add one mana of any color. Pay one blue-green tap. Target creature you control gains flying and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. That's a and you flavor. ramped. How cute. That's a flavor fail. I think yeah. the land itself should gain flying. Hmm. The land should gain flying? It says Winged, yeah, it's a winged Temple. Because te it's a winged yeah. temple? Yeah, obviously. No, that makes that doesn't make temple's sense. temple's in the sky. Yeah. You I mean, can I can see the wings right on the temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got big scary golems over there now. I, I do. You can't just casually poke me for the heck of it. You know, here we are. Mm -hmm. We got golems. Can't three, three golems. And if one of them dies, 
if an artifact goes to my graveyard from the battlefield, I get to put a plus one plus one counter on Iktek and on um, each goal of my control. That seems whenever any good. artifact is put into any graveyard, any artifact. So maybe from the battlefield. Maybe if a rock, if a rock happens to way, die, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna see if we can get this going. Remember, um, you're in combat. Are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, combat? I'm moving. I'm moving through combat. Okay, I'm not. I'm not swinging anything. I am gonna play this coiling oracle. Coily oracle. Even is, is that a twelfth counter on your Ashai? That is correct. Jeez. It is a Findhorn Elves. Uh, yeah, I'll play the Findhorn Elves and pass the turn. Shy, shy, shy. Ice Age Findhorn Elves. We got the, the new school one. Justin, I don't think it's going to be very shy. No. Well, it hasn't been so far. It's just one attack. Yeah, it's only going to take one more. Yeah, well, it's, that was before anyone even cast anything. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. What do you mean before anyone cast anything? Well, I attacked you for nine. One spell and an attack next turn killed you. Yeah, to play three. Someone had to play th- three. Three more spells had to get cast. Mm. I'm going to assemble a combination. With smothering tithe. Oh, that'll get you two. And then I will be the Duns. That makes two of us. <laughs> uh, counter. Uh, yep. Keep. Um, you know what? Really curious what was getting ready to happen there. <laughs> Upkeep. Nothing. Nothing. Discont- discontinuity. <laughs> yeah. uh, my turn. You can have your. You can have it. I can have my treasures. Yeah. No way. Um, I'm gonna make uh, well, two I treasures. For sure, this would have been the first time in history. All right, I'm, gonna I'm gonna attack Justin. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that for? Um, that's fifteen, sixteen. Well, that is really unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Do you have any responses, Justin? Yeah, I got a response, but I don't feel like I want to use my one bleep right now for the season. <laughs> <laughs> if not now. Steven, Steven. <laughs> I don't want you to know what's up. I don't want you to not attack me. So I'm not gonna try to convince you otherwise. But I want you to know that you could end this bloodshed between us and you always choose not to because you always take slights. I don't even know what I... First of all, I didn't do anything this game. You you did and you're just in the lead. I killed you. That's what yeah. it boiled down to. I'm dead. If, if you and Jeremy were in reverse positions, I'd kill Jeremy first. Well, you're not blocking, I mean, so hold on. You're not blocking. I'm not blocking. John, no, I mean, John, I will punish you. So you gonna, what? You're going to save him? You're going to punish me? Yeah. That's rude. How hey, are man. you going to... You're going to punish me. You just do whatever you think you need. No, I'm not doing you. anything. I don't care. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. dead. I'm yeah. dead. He can leave. He can go to the Shadow Realm where, from which he came. <laughs> <sighs> oh, all right. I will cast Warden of Evo Isle. You got a little, little even cheaper. Yeah. And then I will cast High Sentinels of Arashian for two mana. Whew. Be good for two, and it gets a one-one counter for each other creature. Other creature. Flying. Okay. Or with I have to one. say, I'm completely shocked that I died first very quickly <laughs> after after last week. I feel like that was sarcasm. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure this won't continually happen over and over again. And then, um, man, John, I just don't. Maybe I what should. Do you... Maybe I should have stopped you. Stop me from what? From doing your treasure shenanigans. Maybe Jeremy will pay. You know, you I could have stopped. You could have paid too. I, I should have paid, but I thought I might use all the mana. So That's Yeah, Jer- Jeremy, Jeremy will pay. Jeremy will pay when you attack him next turn. He'll pay with his life. Yep, that's what I'm hearing. What? He after that, Steven? You're a, you can block, Jeremy. How can he block? He has six mm. elves. None of them He have has blocked. a land that gives oh, him flying, Justin. Flying, yeah. Jeez. 
It says it's a winged temple. We just Jeremy, this. Jeremy's going to keep four of his mana untapped for the rest of the game so he doesn't die. No, he's going to keep a draw a tree speaker and an island open the rest of the game so he doesn't die. And that land. And that's that land. Four, that's still four and mana. And another creature to block with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's none of those. Exactly. Yeah, seems really likely. I think he might just do it. I'm going to just sit back and watch. <laughs> Maybe I might just say things to stir up some stuff in the game. That sounds right. I'm going to play Ghost of Ramirez. DP. Does that fly? Does not. No, no, it doesn't. All right, Jeremy, all I'm going to do is uh, only cast one spell for the rest of the game. That's what I'm hearing. Turn. Pretty much. Um, yeah, you're Jeremy, really- you did not pay the two, correct? I did not pay the two. You're in really good shape. Uh, and, and John's definitely not going to amass a huge board while you play your, your two, three for three uh, for the rest of the game. Uh, See, I'm not actually trying to get treasures for mana. I'm trying to get treasures to make a Kiri huge. Uh, yeah. Or, or just make your golems huge. But if you also get and mana, then huge. your golems get huge. Yeah, there's a benefit to the two, okay? I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Speaking of benefit to the two, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice an artifact. Okay, here we go. Uh, to get plus one, plus one counters on everything. And it's actually going to be two plus one, plus one counters because I'm going to sack this Mind Stone to draw a card with that mana. That's two counters. Pretty uh, good. Draw a card. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to draw. I'm glad I have this Smothering Tide, though. I just haven't drawn very... Uh, I haven't drawn lands, you know? Yeah. Hmm. That's all I had. All yeah. I had was lands. Lands for days. Yep. So here's our, our red-white. And that's our Kiri. I don't hate that. Steven, you have a huge board, though, and a very large bird that could just kill anybody at any point, seems like. Is this, is this a dragon speaker? Speaks to the dragons, and the dragons speak right back and say, dragons, punch, yeah. punch that person in the face. Kill them. Kill them in one hit. How big is your, uh, your high sentinels? It is a 3-4. 4-5. 4-5. Um, how dare I? It, it actually, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a counter on it. It it's just gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with a one counter on it. So, it's a four so five. just your one, your one so command. It, it, it's, yeah. it's still a four or five, but it in is. a different way. Yeah. It just doesn't have the counter on it, but I put it on there because I wanted to remember it. Hey, yeah, no, I got you. All right. Um, I don't really have a great play. So, I think you should kill Steven. Well, that's the thing. Killing people is difficult for me. If you haven't noticed, uh, Steven has quite a board. Yep. Yeah. So that's kind of scary. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to go ahead and do just to, to play it safe and not, hopefully, while Steven has a multiple blue mana open, I'm going to attempt to path to exile your shy. I like that. I like that. I would have liked like it that. about two and a half turns ago when I was getting Now, I did have there. it when you died, I know you, but I, I know chose, you did. I chose yeah, not that's to. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I'm going to kill your ramp. I was going to kill Jeremy, but I mean, sure, kill it. Why yeah, not? the the thing is, I just, I, I know you probably would have, Stephen. Oh, it's not probably. <laughs> but I also don't trust you to just not knock me in the head. Uh, I so, mean, I, I'm still going to knock you in the head now. I mean. Well, I know you're going to attempt to. That's not yeah, what I'm worried about. Attempt, you're going to attempt to. Yeah. Will you succeed, yeah. you coward? Yeah, attempt's the word you want to use, huh? I said. You're going to try to. Why don't you try? Why don't you bring it? All right, I haven't played a land yet, so I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to play Elemental Bond. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to crack for a mana. Give these plus one, plus one. I'm going to play a Kiri, and I will draw a card. Yep. Is a Kiri flop? Uh, it does not. It's just Vigilance. Wait, oh. did you? Does it, I thought a Kiri cost two. It does, the treasure and the one mana I had. Oh, I thought you had two of those two lands untapped. No, I, I tapped them. Because I tapped three for... Uh, I, one for Path to Exile, three for... Oh, Elemental Path Bond. to Exile, that's right. Yeah, so I'll draw. That's right. Um, and then... 
John, I think it's, your creatures are going to get huge, and I don't think Jer- I don't think uh, Stephen would like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he would either. What Steven, are you going to do? Open, right? What are you going to do? Just wait and block all his creatures fly. Yeah, I know. I'm attacking because these are six sixes, so they're they're going to probably run. The problem is Jeremy also can hit me. So Jeremy's I, Jeremy's too scared to do anything. He's going to try to. Block I know the rest he's of the game. probably scared. All right, I'm done. Just just go. Oh my god! I'm going to pay the two. Yeah, I assumed as Unbelievable. much. Unbelievable. Steven's finally paying two for Smothering Tithe. He oh. knows it's gotten out of hand. I'll play blue white and I'm going to cast a Thunderclap Baron. It's a good card. Plus one, plus out oh for flyers. Thunderclap. Uh, Thunderclap. Uh, you have plus one, plus one for my flyers. You have mm-hmm. to clap when you do it. You I'm have gonna... to clap before you do it as an announcement of this. All right. Just zip it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and return to dust your two golems. My golems? The golems. Yeah. Okay. Did you think that I was going to talk less after you killed me? I just wanted a second to talk, and then you're fine now. Um, okay, can I help you out a little bit? I think you tapped one too many mana for that thunderclap. That well, only cost that only cost white blue. Uh, two mana right here, and then three mana for return to dust, and two mana for the smothering tithe trigger. Sounds like he didn't. Mm. Sounds like he did it right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Okay. I was trying to help you. Don't get sassy with me. I wasn't even trying to be a jerk about it. <laughs> Sounds like he was trying to be a jerk about it, Steven. I wasn't. Okay. After you after you killed me, I was trying to give you extra mana. I want whoever's turn it is at the time to win. Right now, it's you. As soon as you pass the turn, I hope you die to Jeremy. Um. <laughs> Jeremy passes the turn, hope John kills everybody. That sounds right. That's, that I sounds mean, like a very Justin thing to do. Uh, look... I'm playing all the sides. Yeah, he said yeah. I'm playing every side. If I bet on all the horses, I always win. Exactly. I'm trying to think of what I want to attack with. You know what? This is fun. We're going to attack like this. We're going to attack John for 10. ten. You have no flyers, right? Yeah, we hit you for 10. I know. All right, 24. And I'm done. Did you attack with those golems? Uh, they got exiled. Not before you had a chance to attack with them. That's true. You That's did true. have a chance to attack with them, and then... Uh, well, I didn't. Earlier, I could have got the parallel lives. Did you pay two? Did mana? you pay the two? Uh, you should not pay the two. No, I'm not going to Sounds pay. like you should, then. You uh, probably should no, pay the two. I'm, I'm going to be giving him a lot more than that, I think. Okay. I'm problem. not going to draw give- 12 cards. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to it, Jeremy. So uh, I'm playing Cavern of Souls, and then I am. What are you naming? Elves, mm. elves. not pirates. I, not. I was going to get oh, shaman man. or druid. I could have sworn he was going to get um, wolf. I am going to cast distant melody. Oh, choosing elf. I bet choosing elf. So that's six cards. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Would I'm you like to pay two? Six cards. Would you like to pay twelve? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to pay anything. All right, so I get to make twelve. You get to make six. You get to make six. Twelve. You're drawing, twelve, six, 12, 12, drawing 12, six cards, yeah. right? Yeah, twelve, twelve, twelve. I am cool. Drawing six cards. Path to exile, my shot. Can't believe. Hey, you. hey, I could have saved Justin. Okay, got an extra point. I gave up the extra point. I'm gonna cast metallic mimic. Nice. Are you choosing bird? Naming elf. Oh, that's too bad. Is that distant melody the first card you've put into your graveyard? Yeah, it sure is. Nice. This has been a permanence kind of game. It has been. Um, I don't think I'll be paying for your smother to tell me more. <laughs> yeah, you think I got enough, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, Jerry gave me a whole bunch. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll pass turn. No, but I paid the tax one time in my life, and then it backfires where Jeremy's like, no, not this year. No, <laughs> this is the year of Jeremy. I'm not even mad that, that John didn't path a shy when it attacks me. I shouldn't cause, be. Well, you know, you can only get mad at things you're surprised by when someone's, when someone, <laughs> you feel like they betray you. But when it's completely expected, sure. you're just, you know, just another day, just another day in the office. 100% accurate. So I have 12, 16 artifacts. So this is a 16, three first striking vigilant creature. Seems pretty good. Probably going to not attack with it and Steven will kill it on his turn. 
<laughs> why would I kill it? I don't know. You did. The, why'd you kill the last ones? Uh, well, it's a good thing I did now. All okay. right. I'm... Well, uh, great argument. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start by uh, poking. Uh... Yeah, Steven, I'll poke you. Yep, Kellis, uh it's going to bite the bullet there. Okay. With its face. Yeah, it's, it's, it's trod in their foot right there. Hmm. Now, I really, I know you guys were going to give me flack for playing this. I cut it from my deck twice. And then in the end, I was like, you know what? I just really want the card, despite how much I hate it. So I'm gonna, I think it's time for that. We're going to play Disrupt Decorum. Oh my God! You're goading. No, 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 sh- 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 no, 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 no. Goading. Until Goad next turn, all creatures. Those creatures. Goad all of your all creatures, creatures you must attack control. everybody other than. You must not attack me, but they must attack. This is unbelievable. This is a first. John has. That is <laughs> wild. The master goader. I hate, uh, it. I hate that word. You goaded. You're goading them so good. You're getting their goad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, go ahead, Steven. Okay. Now, Steven, at the beginning of your turn, I want to remind you, John has goaded your creatures. Uh, yes. That's, <laughs> he's, that's... he's goaded them. They've been goaded. The creatures. Mm-hmm. I literally put this in my deck, cut it, put it back in, cut it, and I was like, you know what? Over and over and over again. I, I want it. That was a good card, Steven. Did you see it? Yeah, everyone saw it. You like you were like, you drew it like this. You're like, I missed it. So you go ahead and just, I'll act surprised when you cast it. Well, you're going to be surprised if you didn't see it. <laughs> Ooh. Dramatic. Now, when you're ready to get to combat, Steven, you do have a requirement. Uh, he, he's, he's, got a, he's got a spell to cast before combat. Yeah? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it a, I think it's going to tap those four cards. cards. Uh, I mean, cast the Farah, uh, yeah. Scatsblade. That's what he drew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that says um, other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Hey, you have to attack me anyway, right? That's correct. I'm going to mana during that, if Safara. That's seven mana. Very nice. Seven mana. Seven. Why you mana drain a disrupt decorum. Because he wasn't scared of it. He was ready to hit he, you in the face, is what he's saying. Because John goaded him, and Jeremy liked to be goaded. Yeah, John. Yeah, Jeremy's all about attacking you, Steve. That's what he's trying the to famous, say. The famous goader, the most famous goader in Commander vs. History, John Suarez. All so right. Well, is that what I am? Is that how it's referred to? I'm taking a lot. That's all I know. I Not mean, enough. You probably... Well, Steven, didn't, Steven decided to tap his, his creatures instead of attack with them. Well, well Steven's creatures so. are goaded. They're goaded by John. Yeah, I'm going to... Well, they're going to attack Jeremy. They because they're I'm because gonna, they're goaded, yeah. I'm gonna put goated. a counter on Thunderclap Lord. with something. With this, his sentinels. Uh, sentinels. Okay, so you're tapping the sentinels to put the counter on. No, it's just four mana. Put a counter on. Oh, I thought it was like uh, like bolster or whatever or whatever that one. No, it's just tap so, four. Uh, three, six, nine, um, eleven, fifteen. I'm at 20. Kapow! Yeah, he did right. that because he was goaded by John. Yeah. When right. he cast the, the card disruptive. Thank you for being very clear. He, he did cast the card well, disruptive. I don't want anybody to forget. In case anybody, Dinner and politics. In case anybody don't forgot. I'm done. Okay. Okay, now, Jeremy, I am required <laughs> at the beginning of your turn to remind you all of your creatures have been goaded by John. Yes, but your creatures are elves, so you can just not attack with them if you really wanted to. Figure out a way. Oh, you don't want to give me 18? Or 20? You don't have the two yet. You don't have have the two from Mana Drain yet. That's Uh, in your main phase. I mean, you can just tap other things. Colors matter. That's colorless mana. Mm -hmm. True. Don't get confused. Don't get it twisted. What do I want to pay with? Your life. That's probably going to happen here. I know what you should pay with. It's um, Cameron Souls. (laughs) 
I'll pay with these two. Options. I won't be counting on any spells. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, with those two, they're not even attacking with those. Those I could attack Stephen. Jeremy, what are you doing? They are because they're goaded, oh, but now they gosh. won't have to. All right. Now I have seven. I'm going to play my land for the turn. Yep. God, John could be dead right now, Jeremy. No, he can't because he's he's goaded. I creatures. know. He could just be dead. I wouldn't even cast the that Safara. I'm going to use five and play Vanquisher's Banner. Okay. Nice. That'll help with your creatures because they're goaded. You have to attack with them this turn. <laughs> But not just creature type are you choosing? Uh, I'm choosing elf. Mm. I'm going to choose branching evolution. I don't know what that well, card is. I like where this is going. One or more plus one plus one counters would be put onto a creature you control. Twice that many plus one plus one counters are put onto that creature instead. Mm. Somebody's going to get a, a punch. A wallop. Sandwich. Yeah. A wallop. And then um, at the beginning of combat. Twice as many plus one plus one counters, huh? On my turn. I think I think Jeremy's about to renew his membership to Punch Club. He's gonna take <laughs> Stephen there for a free. It's not gonna be me. I'll tell you that much. I am. It's not because you goaded his creatures, so they can't. I did. Him. I did goad them. You are right. Hope you please play increasing savagery on something. He would come combat though, right? Isn't that a sorcery? tree? Is he in combat? I think yeah, he went I'm to moving. combat so he can do his Numa. I'm, I'm move, moving to combat so I can use Numa okay. and pain two, three, four, um, five, so six, six, seven, seven, four, eight. You got eight available on, to pay. Yeah, depending on if I want to actually put anything into the winged temple. Keep in mind, oh, because it's plus the power, right? Yeah, it doubles yeah. the power. Yeah, it doubles gotcha. the power. Double your power. Double your phone. Five mana doesn't do anything, right? I'm not. Yeah, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm, at I'm at four right now. So five mana doesn't do anything. I'm at four right now. So I can go up one, not be able to use. Well, you have three mana card. tapped, and the, that's five mana, right? No, it's He's got one, four two, mana. Three, four. Yeah. He, yeah. Tapped, he tapped the green he for the branching right. evolution. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Sorry. This green, yeah, I tapped for the branching evolution and then use the last of that. Uh, so yeah. I'll so just, four. I'll add four. Four counters to this. Yep. Yep. Two, and then you get double. So that'll have four counters on it. Yep. 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 I have to swing with the rest. You, you are required, like unfortunately. That. Sorry. Due to the goading. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that's eight. That'll go to 16 if I do that. That's a lot. Well, we all know that you're going to do it. And is the metallic mimic itself a elf now? It is. It is an elf now. Yeah. So it's getting it from the, the Vanquisher's Banner too. Yeah. I feel so, like if I do this, I'm just gonna be dead next turn, though. Well, I mean, do you think here. saving five mana is gonna help that if you think you're dead? Uh, I think if I swing and then I have at least a blocker, it's much better chance that I'm. Oh, sure. I got you. So I'm just gonna swing with what I have here. Okay. So it's going to end up being... Now, two. are you swinging at me? No, I have to swing at Steven. No, that's right. You're swinging at Steven. Just making sure you chose have on your own Steven. volition that you're swinging at Steven. Have to, because <laughs> I was goaded by Jonathan Suarez. That's true, Jeremy. You, how that's how good. much is that, Jeremy? Uh, this is going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's, 12, that's, it's 9. That's 12. It's nine. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop. Seven, yeah. Eight. Just count nine. the regular power and then... We'll Vanquisher's the banner. Yep. Okay. Regular power is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Clan caller yep. says 16, 17, 18. And then yep. Vanquisher's Banner says 19, 20, 21, 22 total. There you go. Boom. Now, would you like to double that one guy? Uh, thinking about it, but I just die to you, don't I? I mean, I, I, have, a, I have an 18 power creature in play. And? If I have uh, zero four, creatures four in play. Power, a four power creature in play, sorry. If I have zero blockers in play. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, then no, I will just it's it's gonna be that much. All right, 20, 22. I'll yep. take you. All right, and then I will cast Elvish Harbinger. Let you go get an elf, put it on top. I'm gonna go get an elf, put it on top. And first you draw a card, right? Uh, yeah, Vanquish Your Banner is on Vanquish cast. Banner. It, is, it, is, it is on cast, yes. So you draw a card first, and then you go get one. Yep. Draw the card first. Scry, actually, because I have Path. 
which is on cast. You can do that if you would like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to square that to the bottom then. And then draw. And then card. search your library. We'll do that. Draw my card. Then. Oh, OK. My... OK. Got you. Before the Vanquisher's Banner, you scried. Correct. OK. Um, that makes sense. And I will go get. Uh, you drew a card. Did you pay the two? I am not paying the two. Excellent. Big cards you got in hand, John. Uh, I have seven. Seven. That's a lot seven. of cards. <laughs> seven. Now seven. You have, I have because, seven because, cards. because I haven't been playing lands every turn, so I have to go get an elf. Yeah, right, I have to get an elf. Card. An elf. How many cards you have? Not an elf creature. One. One. Is it a good one? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a Zuri Renegade Leader. Okay. Okay. That's going to go on top of my library. Mm hmm. And then I will pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to source the plowshares. The Elder Harbinger? Nah, the Kiri. Okay. I was going to say, you're just going to leave me to the wolves here. Well, <laughs> that'd, be, you, that'd be a hilarious way to do you it. You killed me, so I have to source. Rude, Steven. Well, well, well. I mean, I'm dead anyway, John. It doesn't even matter. If you don't see um, it, I would be very grateful, but I see it, so I know I'm dead. Oh, you're you're both very dead, so I'm going to let that happen. Yeah. I'm going to gain a lot of life. Uh, 20? Yep. To be specific. 20 it is. That's so much. All right. You were done, right, Jeremy? I was done. You have a Harbinger in play untapped and an Azuri oh, on top? An Azuri on top, yes. And you have two blue mana open? I have... One of any color and one green blue, so yes, essentially two yeah. of any color in my deck. So he could have All a right. black. Well, he care. could have a black and a green. Win, win lose, draw. I don't care. I'm doing it because it's sweet. I'm gonna play Hammer of Perforos. All right. So everyone's thoughts on Hammer of Perforos? Um, Is that cool? Seems like you don't have a lot of lands right now, but it's probably gonna give yeah, some okay. haste. I think it's the haste part that's gonna be important. If yeah, I think it's everything to, in part. If I had to Is that go. cool? That's cool. All right. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to sack an artifact. Yep. This will get this. Indeed. I'm going to activate hammer. Yeah. I'm going to turn this plane into two golems. Yep. With the haste, if you will. Or if you won't, they'll still have haste. They will. No, it's definitely the will. For sure. Okay. Um, Jeremy, you have a blocker. I have a blocker. Right. I'm going to add one four man into my pool. So these will all get plus four, plus four. Get them dice four. out. And four. Yep. I'm going to play Golden Guardian. Which is a golem. It is a golem. It's uh, a, a foil golden golden guardian. It is. It is the goldenest of goldens. All right, so it has Defender, and I can pay two, and it'll fight target creature. Um, I control, and when it dies, it returns to the battlefield this turn, transformed. Neat. Are you going to pay two? Right. More golems. You got to pay the two, though. Yeah, I got to fight a creature, and uh, the Guardian has to die. So Which not very hard for it to fight, obviously. Seems That's pretty easy guy. for that to happen. Yeah, it does. Seems okay. Um... Making sure everything's kosher there. I was making sure I got it. Okay. Um, then I'm going to sack two artifacts uh, to give these plus two, plus two. The golem here is going to get it too, but he's about to transform, so it doesn't. Uh, it's going to fight uh, whatever, uh, sure. a golem. You got it. Uh, this will die, so it returns to the battlefield transformed. And then they all get a counter. And they all get a counter because it died. Yeah. Get them counters out. What's the backside of it? Uh, the backside of it is uh, tap for two mana of any color or pay four and tap it to create a 4 4 golem artifact token. That's pretty sweet. Pretty good. It's about, it's about to be so real sweet. Then I'm going to sack four more. So that's. Uh, Director one. Kyle asking, what's, what's that side of the card called? Uh, Gold Forge Garrison. Gold so four more four. counters here. So it's one, four, four, <laughs> four. It's 
price. I'm going to tap it. Make a golem. And this one makes two four four golems. It makes two four four golems? Well, it makes one, but Parallel Lives makes two. Uh, and I'll draw two cards for that because I forgot to draw off the elemental bond for the other guy. Gee whiz. Yeah. There's my land for the turn. Um, Gold Forge Garrison, you did it. Hey, we had the Gold technology Forge after all. You came in. Uh, I think Stephen has a single white blue mana open. I have no cards in my hand, though, but... Oh, I can you got a card. A card. Ah, you I can, can draw a card. I can draw a card. He can draw uh, one. It's going to be the best um, one. It would be, yeah. Uh, Holy I'll, day. It would be a dramatic reverse. Sack, sack one, give him all the pluses again, because I like counters. You know what? I'm run out of dice. John, John I'm going to sack one to draw a card. You can get another plus. Okay. That's another right, so counter. This is going to get, gonna get that. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. This will turn into that. This will get that. This will get that. Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything. Whatever. I'll sack three more. Uh, yeah. They're all going to get plus three, plus three. Yeah. Five, five, four, four. More dice. I love dice. They're my favorite. More dice. That's and I'm going to... If I flip over a Terminus right here, because that's what it was. <laughs> you would already had to do it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a Terminus, but it would be great if it was. That uh, would be a great moment. I think it would yeah. let me get back in the game. <laughs> I will cast Beast Within on my Guardian Idol. To make two beasts. Two beasts. That I didn't get any of. Yep. So we'll make these. Yep. And then another plus one, plus one counter. Yep. All right. Good. And then I'm ready to. Uh, now I'm ready to go to the, to the combat. I'm also ready. Cool. So this is six. A lot. Mm -hmm. um, looks like a lot to this me. This one. This one's coming at. Steven. Mm, very rightfully deserved. And these two. What is Steven at 18? Mm -hmm. Six, 10. These are 10s. All right. So 10, 10. This. 17, 20. So that's enough to kill Steven. All right. So this is the attacks. This is going to be 10, 20, 26. Yep. All right, these five, it's Jeremy. These two, it's Steven. All right, I drew a lot of degrees, so I'm dead. Fog. It wasn't, it wasn't Holy Day? I, I heroic intervention. Oh hey, indestructible. God. Yeah, indestructible. Y'all are dead. As, as predicted, Goad won in the game, just like he drew it up. Yep. He's yeah, I did, I did say that in my deck tech. Yep. <laughs> I said I, I really I figured you guys might see it at some point and I didn't want to kind of hide it so I just called it out to begin with. Well, you know, uh, I this has been uh, the long con really for John. He's been saying yeah. for years how he hates Goad uh, to pay, for this moment, for this exact moment just, just where no one would yeah. expect it because everyone thought he hated it so much. In fact, he loved it so much he built a deck entirely around it. That's hate not off. what it was. I didn't build it around it. Hate off. Bravo, John. You fooled us all. Mm -hmm. We've you. been goaded in our creatures and well, in our hearts. Not Justin. Well, I was yeah, dead. I would have been goaded. I would have been goaded had I been alive. You got smacked by bird of war. Smacked hard. I did. I did. Not. Didn't take much. Did not take much. So, that's our first trip to the random owning. Maybe we're going to go back. Maybe we like random stuff. Who knows? If you guys like random stuff, you should... Uh, should let us know in the comments. And while you're there, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and binge. Yeah, I said comment twice. You can comment twice. Anyway, one about uh, the Coliseum of Randomness and then one about everything else. You can tell us what... It's not about goading. It was. Yeah. So you can tell us what your favorite uh, goad moment was today. Which of the times that we talked about goading was the one that you liked the most? How John looked while he was goading, the joy that he had while he was casting 
the goad spell. Hashtag Team Suarez goad. No, that's not a hashtag. Yep. <laughs> no. 100% a no. long hashtag. That's a long it is. Way it's too long. long. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Nope. I'm trying to think of one. Surely, no. I, you know what? But there's so many viewers that could probably think of a really good one. Yeah. And then no, we'll just get that hashtag gold goad. The no, golden goad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, goad. that's it. <laughs> That's the sure. Golden, the we'll golden know. Gold. When they That's use it, we'll know. You know, everyone else will be like, "What's the golden go?" We'll see it ha- trending, trending on Twitter, and they'll know, hashtag, we'll know what it's about. Hashtag thousands and golden thousands golden of our fans are still here. too long. Just there just it is. Hashtag, hashtag G- golden go. go. No, it, no, we only have to say the golden go. So. No, uh, Kyle golden put it on go. the screen. Hashtag golden no. go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna get that like one. It. We're gonna get that one going. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but if you're on Twitter, uh, hashtag CMDRVS, hashtag Commander Versus, hashtag Scoops, and hashtag Golden Goad. Those are our three official hashtags for the show. Uh, and of course, you can follow us at A Natural Death, at Redneck Wins, at J Parnell One, at Jeremy Knoll, and at DIR Kyle West. Uh, don't forget those hashtags, especially that new one. We're going to get it really, really going. Uh, beyond that, we, of course, have sponsors for this show. We have Carnox Chairs. You can go to carnox.com slash SCG to save 10% off your Carnox Chairs. Stevens, look look at look at what he's doing. Steven is contorting his body in a way it's not meant to be moved just so he can show off the Carnox Chair. That's oh, I got to stretch it, you know? I got to stretch all those muscles out. Yeah, you know, yeah. Right. Uh, Physical therapy brought to you by carnox.com slash SCG. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you can, of course, also get a bunch of great Coalesce apparel shirts by going to coalesceapparel.shop. And when you're checking out, use gift code SCG for 10% off your whole order for all of your shirts. Now, I really they, like my kids shirt. really like this one. The Rock and Roll? Rock and Royal? Yeah. yeah. I, I cool. like this one quite a bit. Yeah. The, so, and it attracts a- yeah, my only issue... Is it's the, <coughs> it's called the Praetorian Man. Yeah, Jesus. that's, yeah. that's a good. But Trax is not a man. That is true. Sahara. Well, it's a well, it's an angel, so it's a female. You're saying there's no male angels? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, it's probably right. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, but it's fine. The Praetorian Man. So there's a bunch of new Keep It in One Hundred shirts. Uh, two of which John and Jeremy are wearing, but there's a ton of stuff. Uh, Coalesce has a, bu- a bunch of great shirts. I, I would recommend going and check those out. I just I have a bunch of them that I just wear. It's really, I just like like the shirts, even in normal non magic times. Yeah. And I have and hoodies. Let's see, it's on this side. Got my uh, anti Mulligan Mulligan Club. Yep, I believe they have. I saw them tweet out that uh, the white version, yeah. with the purple. That was that was sweet. That was sweet. I like that a lot. There's Got a, a white one. version with purple? New, yeah. new one coming, apparently. And it says Ooh. something different on the front. It yeah. says, like, guess I'll keep or something like that. Yeah, it's nice. All right. All right. I'm in for that. I'm in for that one for sure. Yeah. I like all those. Coalesceapparel.shop. Gift code SCG at checkout. Save 10% off. And, of course, Steven, you uh, get uh, games. I'm sleepy, man. Okay. Stars, I'm I'll, sure. I'll get through this. I'll get through this. It's a bad Star City Games, Star City Games Premium, seven ninety nine a month, fifteen percent off of supplies like deck boxes and sleeves, ten percent off of singles, five percent off of sealed product. Uh, sealed product, I would recommend you getting if you're watching this show. Is those uh, those commander decks for Caldheim on Star City Games is thirty four ninety nine before the five percent off for both. Yeah, for, and for that is a fantastic deal. Yeah, that's really good. And there's some good cards in there. Like the last the decks are really sets, good. Yeah, the decks have been real good. Yep. Now I will say, Wizards, we know what you're able to put in the twenty dollar decks. We're all able to do math, so you know, maybe you should also do so. It's just a suggestion. Yeah. Probably not, but I would be remiss. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Starts the game premium, fifteen percent off, ten percent off, five percent off on different stuff. Uh, that's all that we have for this week. Well, make sure that you also check out 
starcitygames.com slash sale because there's a new sale every week. And we're also uh, buying cards. Sell us your cards. That is starcitygames.com slash sell, S-E-L-L. Which you should definitely do that. Yeah. And there's a couple new ways. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. One is now just box them up, send them to us, and we will do all the 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 sorting and send you a price. And uh, it really only takes like what, like a, a day or two longer than if you'd gone through and actually done the buy list individually, card by card. If you go to these uh, our sell your cards page, there's mm-hmm. four different ways to do so. Our buy list. Our ship and sell program, which is what Jeremy was talking about, yep, you can come visit us in our store. And if you're a vendor, we can we might actually be able to come visit you. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, no matter how you want to sell your cards, and of course, you get 30% store credit whenever you do so, that if you want one. to get store credit yeah. uh, on anything that you sell. So if you're looking for credit to get those call time singles, that's a really great way to do so. You ship us a box with your cards in it, we'll do all the work for you. Justin will do it himself. So, I I have before. Yeah. I have before. That's my department, by the way. <laughs> Mine's Steven's department. So uh, if you don't do that, uh, you know, Steven might have to stay in that neck brace a little bit longer. <laughs> wow. Shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Just I just got to tighten it up. <laughs> tighten it up, Steven. Look, you we're out. I, We're I out. You're the mic so that you didn't have to hear me. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Here, wait, this is the, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get sympathy. Garner the just, sympathy, yeah. You know, oh, okay. Well, really, it, it sounded more like extortion. Hey, if you don't uh, send us your cards, Mr. Uh, Green here might spend a little longer in this neck brace. It'd be a shame if he was in that neck brace. I'm not wearing it anymore. You don't even know. That's uh, fair. I don't know. Any anything else or anything else we have? Nope. Nope. Great. That awkward silence I think means we're, none. I think, yeah, that's usually what that means. So I think we're good to go. So for director Kyle West, for Jeremy Knoll, for John Suarez, for Stephen Green, I'm Justin Parnell. We'll see you folks next week.